This is exactly how you can scrape unlimited leads from Apollo without actually paying them a single penny. The first thing you need to do is go to their website, go to apollo.io and create a free account over here. You can just click on get started. I'm assuming you already have an account with Apollo. So yeah, just click on the login button once you have created it. And yeah, now we're going to be headed to this place. You can see like I'm actually on like the free plan. I'll just quickly show you. So that no one is like, bro, you actually had a plate plan, whatever. So yeah, as you can see, my subscription is free. I am literally going to be scraping all of this data live in front of your eyes. Yeah, after that, once we're here, you simply click on this people thing. And now we can apply like a bunch of different filters and everything. And then we can like reach out to the people who we want to reach out to. Let's say like you already know how to apply filters in Apollo. You can filter by job title. So let's say I only want to reach out to like, let's say CTOs or something. Like let's say I only want to reach out to CTOs. Then I'm going to select that filter and yeah. then you can apply like what management level they belong to. I want people who are like at a senior management level so I can filter by that as well. I want people who are like C-suite and all that because obviously it's a CTO so it should be C-suite. Yeah, basically uh, you can apply a bunch of filters. You can filter by like what department they belong to. So yeah, you can do that as well. It's not really relevant. You can apply like what company they belong to if you want to do that. You can filter by location, like what place they're located out of. So let's say I want to target CTOs in San Francisco because that's like the Silicon Valley, obviously, right? So yeah, I can apply that filter. I can filter by how many employees work in these companies. So let's say I want people who are working in companies and who have like 1 to 50 employees. So I can select all of that. CTOs working in these Companies. I can select by particular industries who work in particular industries. So you can do that if you want to. This is not really relevant. The point I'm trying to convey is you simply apply a bunch of different filters till the time you actually come up with the exact list you want to scrape. So that's all you have to do. Once you've done that, you simply need to come over to this post and you need to download the free Chrome extension known as Instant Data Scraper. So click on this and now you're going to be taken to this page and I'll just show you what it looks like if you don't have it installed. Click on the Add to Chrome button and yeah, click on Add Extension and the data scraping extension is going to be added. It's absolutely free to use. Once you're here, you click on this button which is the shortcut for extensions on Chrome and then you're going to be using Instant Data Scraper. After that, let it load. If it gives you an error like it's not opening up or any error like this, you simply close it once. Like I press Command W and I'm just simply going to open it up again. And this time we shouldn't get an issue. So yeah, as you can see, we're getting access to like the first name and the full name over here. And then we have access to like the company where these people work at. So we can use this data to actually reach out to all of them. So yeah, once you're here, now obviously this is just the data we see in the first page. And we want to scrape data from like all the different pages which are visible and available. So yeah, now what we're going to do is click on this locate next button over here. And then you simply click on this button which says like next. So yeah, click on this button over here and now you simply have to click on start crawling and it's automatically going to scrape all these different pages so i'm not touching anything it moved on to the next page and the next and the next and it's going to keep on doing this again and again and again so in case it stops you can simply click on like the instant data scraper extension once again you can click on the locate next button again and boom you can click on next like if you ever stop before you have scraped the first five pages you can just simply do this and yeah, you can click on the start crawling button. I think this is the new one which I just created. So yeah, just click on the start crawling button. And yeah, now it's going to move on to the next one. So I'll actually pause it because yeah, the problem you now run into is that you get this error. Like you're on a free plan, which allows viewing of like five pages. So basically you cannot view after the first five pages if you're in a free plan. And now we obviously have a play around for this. Let's say you have scraped like the first five pages. What you're going to do is like, obviously you're going to be here on total. Now you can simply click on net new over here. So now you're going to be shown like prospects who you have not already seen. So like the people who you saw earlier on the first five pages, which you have already scraped. Now those people are not going to be included over here. So in a way you can scrape like unlimited data. So now all if I wanted to do it again is I can just click on like start crawling once again. And yeah, it's going to start scraping this data again. So yeah, there is a limit that you cannot see more than five pages. But if every single time you click on net new, that means you're not watching the same people you have already scraped again and again and again. So you're technically getting access to new data. So let's say I once again like scrape the first five pages. I'm just going to click on total again and then I'm going to come on net new. 
so again i'm going to be like exposed to new data which i have not already seen so that's how we can like keep on repeating this process again and again and again without actually running into issues so yeah, i'll just click on the start crawling button again and yeah it's automatically going to scrape all of this data so that's how you can do this again and again and again and now yeah, obviously you have access to some data now but you just don't want like the name of the company you don't want only their first name and the last name you actually want the email addresses and all of that nice stuff as well so yeah, that's exactly what you're going to be getting so once you have scraped like a large enough data set like you can repeat this process to actually like scrape the entirety of apollo like you can just keep on doing this again and again like let's say i've done that i'm just going to come over to like net new again and yeah that's how we can keep on repeating this process so yeah, once you've done that you can click on the copy all button and now we can paste this data into google sheets so we'll simply paste it over and i actually have like two instant data scraper modules yeah i actually did it twice by mistake so i'm going to copy all and yeah we just copy all the data and we paste it in google sheets one thing we now also do is again we simply come over here we select this entire row and we will just simply remove like the duplicates because i had it twice so let's say by mistake there were some duplicates which made it over here then we can actually just remove it so like select the entire column and then click on data over here and after that you click on data cleanup and then you can simply click on like remove duplicates and then you click on like remove duplicates over here and yeah now we have like access to hundreds of data so yeah, now you can actually go ahead and now we can like like basically try to find their email addresses so yeah, like I, all these fields which you do not actually need i'm just going to be deleting these different columns cuz i don't need like these apollo things i just need like maybe like their company name and the first name those are the only two things which i need over here so yeah. mm, i'm actually just going to delete all of this different data so yeah. boom now we're done after that we can simply come over and move on to the next step so we're going to be using the software known as lead wave which is actually great because number one they have a free trial and the second thing is they give you like unlimited credits for like just 49 dollars a month so it's extremely affordable you can start a free trial i obviously have an unlimited plan with them so yeah, we're going to come here and over here they have this feature known as company to domain so over here what we're going to do is we're going to come to like all the we're going to just find all the data which we just scraped from here and then we're going to be like copying a list of all the different companies these people work in so yeah, let's say i'm just going to copy that and these are some companies you can do more or less how many you want to at once i think you can do like 1000 but they give you like unlimited credits so if you have 2000 companies you can do it in batches of two and it will be pretty much good to go after that you just simply going to paste them like all the domains like the name of all the companies which you got from apollo and then we're going to click on convert to domains over here and now just let it scrape and then you go and download the results in the form of a csv file it will take a couple of seconds maybe 30 to 40 seconds maybe like a minute or two depending on how many entries or like how much data you actually inputting over here but yeah you should be getting the results soon i'll just pause the video and once it's ready i'll resume it so it's been around 10 seconds and yeah now obviously like no software in the world can find you like all the domains but yeah we it's done a pretty good job and i'm just going to click on the download csv button and yeah now i can simply open this up in a google sheets and yeah and click on a blank spreadsheet commando open a new spreadsheet and i'll just upload the results to this spreadsheet in google sheets now all we need to do is simply just copy this list of domains which we have received from the name of the companies we got from apollo and now we're going to be using these domains to actually enrich the data so what i'll do is i'll just copy this list of domains which we have received command c copy and yeah now in lead wave we have this feature known as lead enrichment over here and boom i'm just going to click on paste and yeah now we can click on the enrich domains button over here actually we have like another tool inside of lead wave so i'm going to be using both of them to see which actually gives us the higher quality data so i'm going to delete this column and i only want like the list of the different domains which are available over here so i'm just going to like delete this row and i actually want to get rid of the like the spaces in between of them as well so i'm just going to click on data data clean up remove duplicates if there are any duplicates and yeah that should get rid of the white spaces and everything as well and i'll just again download it as a 
CSV. So over here, a lead wave whilst the lead enrichment is running. So yeah, you can see like it's already run. And yeah, we have access to like the postal phone numbers. We have access to the postal email addresses, the work email addresses. So yeah, we already got in like enrichment results and I can download it in a CSV file and I'll just show you what it looks like. The CSV file, the actual results, commando, boom, upload, browse, upload. And just let it upload. And yep, as we can see, we have access to all the data over here of all the employees who are working in these companies. We have like the titles, the job title, what work they do, the headline on LinkedIn. We have the email address. We have the personal Gmail and Yahoo addresses as well. We have access to the phone numbers, the location, city, like all these different things. And mind you, you don't even find like the phone numbers on like Apollo. You get like 200 credits a month if I'm not wrong on like the most expensive plan. And over here, you can see like how many phone numbers you received as well. So now you can reach out to them via email, SMS, whatever you want to do. It's totally up to you. After that, like, yeah, I'm pretty much satisfied with the data. But if anyone wants to go a step further, there's this thing known as Lead Enrich Pro, which these people have, which is basically a Chrome extension. And it allows you to actually enrich the data from Apollo as well. So they pay Apollo on behalf of you and they give you like unlimited credits for $49 a month. So you don't have to. So over here, you can download like the tutorial is over here. So I'm not going to go into it. But yeah, they have this thing over here where you can click on like say lead range rich pro this Chrome extension and then you can upload the CSV. So I'll just upload the CSV with the list of all the different domains and I can simply click on it. And now it's going to go through all the different corners of the internet. It's going to go through the Apollo database, zoom info database, sales and like the sales navigator database, LinkedIn database, all the data which we have access to. And yeah, it's going to find you like verified email addresses and everything. Now this does take some time because we are actually using Apollo and Apollo has imposed like rate limits. Like in one second, we cannot like enrich more than X number of domains. So this does take some time. It will take, I'm thinking like two to three minutes, but it absolutely works. So I let it run in the background, but yeah, I am pretty satisfied and happy with the results I've received over here using the lead enrichment feature so yeah, i'm not going to be complaining over here so over here over in task history we can see like the lead enrichment results so yeah i'm pretty much happy so i'll end the video over here but that's how i literally showed you like how you can scrape apollo for data for free using instant data scraper and from the domains you can find like verified email addresses phone numbers all of that nice stuff so that you can actually reach out to these people I hope you found value. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Have a lovely, awesome, fantastic day ahead. Bye-bye, man. Take care.